Like, where is the TV? It's not there. Oh, this is unreal, man. Mate, I've seen a lot of tech in my time, but this is like, this brings you into the future. VR glasses have been around for the best part of five or six years now, but they've always had a few problems. Low quality, massive bulky cables and devices that go over your head. And let's say the dream of sitting on an aeroplane at 35,000 feet and putting on a set of glasses to watch a 100 inch screen was still a dream away until today. A company called Xreal have made these and these are called the Xreal Air. And when you put them on your face, they are basically just a set of black ordinary glasses, yet I can see through them and I have a 100 inch screen here in front of me too. This thing is called the X Real Beam and this is a brain for these glasses that is sold separately. To explain all of this, I think we need to rewind a bit and see what you get in the box. Okay, so I've just checked online. Prices for these are around 350 quid, and I wanted to check before I get them out of the box just to set my expectations. Okay, look like a pair of big glasses. Built-in speakers on each of the stalks. Let's give it a first test, shall we? Let's see how cool I look. <laughs> They're quite big, actually, aren't they? What, what do you think? I mean, they feel like glasses, obviously. They're slightly heavier than normal glasses, but not as heavy as I thought they would be. And obviously I can see through, I can see everything that is in front of me right now, but it has a slight dimness to it. Oh, sick. Hang on, you've got to get it right. The cable's a bit annoying. Well, you can do it wireless. That's unreal. The quality's better than I thought, and I can still see you. Oh, mate. With the studio lights off, this would be like unbelievable. Mate, that's unreal. It's good, isn't it? This is it. It's like a fucking widescreen cinema, wherever you are. So obviously with this setup here, you've got a MacBook, which is single USB-C cable providing power and obviously acting as a display output. So then as soon as you put these on your head, they're off, they detect you on the head, and then they come on, which is cool for power saving, obviously. Now this is the new sort of accessory, but it's almost a key part of this because this gives you, I think, streaming smarts and a bunch of other smarts, which this doesn't give you on its own. Like if you buy just these, you need something to put onto them. USB-C in and out on the bottom. So I assume this has a battery built in and then a volume rocker on there. Little button on one side. So this device then, basically this has a battery in it. You go USB-C from this device to the headset and then this connects to your Wi-Fi and basically acts as a streamer. So you've got things like Apple's AirPlay. Oh my God, you can make the screen bigger. That's unreal. 139 inches now from 100. Yeah, it's pretty big, but I've got nothing from the PlayStation, which is, oh, sick. Okay, so now I've got what I would say is equivalent to like a 70 inch screen in front of me. I wouldn't say that it is 130 inches. So obviously I've got the Apex Legends screen in front of me right now, but I can sort of see through it. Now they give you these, which you would, oh my. Okay, that really turns it into a cinema because it blocks out, that's sick. I don't know what I like better. You get better fidelity with these on, but then with these you can sort of, you're more aware of your surroundings. Let's play a game of Apex you possibly could get a headache. I definitely think it's something that you would have to get used to. Oh wow, this is so sick. So the response time on them, I would say it's like a projector, like a decent gaming projector. Oh, this is unreal, man. Mate, I've seen a lot of tech in my time, but this is like, this brings you into the future. Like, where is the TV? It's not there, but then it's just there. Like, what? Are you itching to have a go? Oh, mate, it's just like, it's a TV wherever you are. Like I look here and it's still, a, it's still as there. you'd imagine, it's still there. As for the glasses themselves, what are they like to wear? We've got 79 grams here, which isn't too heavy. You could go through a three hour film without noticing the weight of these things. Personally, what I would say is your eyes are going to get fatigued before anything else, just because this whole thing is a learning curve. 
Each eye has its own panel, which has 1080 pixels on it. You've got a 72 Hertz refresh rate at the moment. And with a firmware update that's coming in the future, that will be going to 120, which is nice to see. And they also boast a 400 nit peak brightness. I haven't found any problems with brightness at all. Now, what is the beam for? What benefits does it give you? So this has a battery in it. We're just shy of 5,000 milliamps in here, which will give you around three hours of playtime just using this. It charges up over USB-C over 27 watts of power delivery. So it's pretty quick to charge this thing. It has four gigs of RAM, 32 gig internal storage, and it has a little OS on here that allows you to do things like connect it to Wi-Fi, to download firmware updates, and also do things like mirroring. So it supports AirPlay, which is really cool, and as well, Android mirroring. So as long as this thing is on your Wi-Fi, you can cast to this, which then this sends it over USB-C to the glasses. Another really awesome added benefit of the beam is that it gives you extra options as to the screen itself. Not only can you change the size of it in inches to have it smaller or bigger, but if you hadn't noticed, your head is always moving ever so slightly. So if you put the glasses on, so is the image inside of the glasses. It's moving with your head movements. Whereas with this beam, it gives you spatial tracking. Now what that does is it basically smooths out the image. So if I was to look over there, the image would nice and slowly just go to where I'm looking and vice versa, instead of it being constantly locked to my head. And I found that when I was using it, because it was trapped to my head, it gave me less of a headache than it just being static, if that makes any sense. Now, I think the question on everybody's tongue is, can these things replace my TV set? And it's kind of a loaded question because the answer is yes and no, and it depends on a few circumstances. Let me play you this one. Let's say you have a really small New York apartment and you've always dreamed of having a 100 inch screen, but it's just not feasible because you've got nowhere to put it. And how would you get that thing up the stairs? Well, you buy some of these and there you go. You've got your 100 inch screen in your small New York apartment. You're laughing, joking, jesting. Is the quality on these glasses that have been out about a month better than a TV, the technology that's been out over 20 years? No, obviously not. You can tell this is an AR experience and you are watching it in AR through the glasses. You can tell and you know that, but that's not me saying these things aren't sharp. I was actually really blown away with the actual sharpness of these glasses. When I was just doing some work and kicking back in Chrome, I could see the text in all of my Chrome tabs and the text on a Chrome tab is small right at the top of the screen. It's really easily visible. I even opened up Excel to see what that would be like. I never use Excel. Put some numbers in there, can see everything absolutely fine. The fidelity of these glasses, the visibility and what you can see isn't the problem. It's just obviously not a TV. So it's really, really hard to make that comparison. Or let's say there's a football game on and you wanna watch the football game and your partner doesn't. Well, you can both be in the same room, in the same environment, on the same sofa, watching two different things. I could have the football on, in my glasses, somebody sat next to me watching the TV. We can still converse and have a conversation. So there's that environment to it but we're both watching totally separate things. I think it would be a bit strange to have two TVs in a room. Another big win is if you're a traveler. Now these things, if you take a lot of airplanes, wow, what a device. I cannot wait to jump on my next flight with these just to test them out, knowing that I've got this big cinema in front of me and nobody else does unless you've got yourself a set of these. Yeah, if you're traveling, game changer. I've also had a few Zoom meetings as to where I've worn these and that is quite a cool experience to be fair because everybody's just sort of floating around in front of you and I think that was really really cool. The majority of my time though has been spent gaming on these with the PlayStation 5 and that has been a really really enjoyable experience too. So some final thoughts, what do you think? I think they're really competitively priced, I thought they'd be a lot more expensive than they are. I'll drop all the links for you guys down in the description below so you can check them out yourself. But yeah, these things are cool. I've had people come around to my house and put them on and they are like, this is the future. And I have to say, I really do agree. These have given me a taste of the future and I can't wait to see what devices like this 
are like in five years time. But if you're after something like this now, these really do do it. And it's surprising, but they do. And they're really awesome. So there you guys have it. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.